Hi, welcome to another video about Audi A2 project on Young Timer. In this video, I will show you why I will replace my uh, brake disc, front brake discs, and brake pads, even uh, uh, they are not still uh, uh, worn. They should be not that they should be okay, but they are not worn. So, if you look here a little bit, you can see that they are quite rusted, and this is because the car was not used for eight years. So if we go here, I have it here already, uh, I've taken uh, off uh, the tire. So here you can see the brake disc is basically completely rusted and this, it's, uh, this is dangerous to use. So uh, you can see also that the brake pads, they still have a lot of meat, so that they, they would be practically, they are almost new. But since the, this is because the, uh, brake discs and pads or, or at least brake pads because here is a little bit of uh, um, this edge uh, brake pads were replaced just before the car was uh, was not used anymore so this is why i will replace i will also do a short drive just to show you what is happening with uh, if you want to try to use these uh, brakes and uh, I will just replace them with new one, brand new uh, brake discs and brake pads. So that should be perfect. Let's go now with the, uh, to the car. Uh, I, I will put the tire back on and uh, we'll go to the car and show you what's happening when I'm trying to brake with these brake discs full of rust. And now I will show you why I need to replace the brake discs, even if they are not uh, used, but uh, completely. But they are they were not used eight years, and the, the rust just got them, so they are com completely trashed. And now I don't have any car uh, behind, so now I'll just brake. You can hear, and also you can see that the steering wheel is completely shaking, and the car also. And now you see. Basically, the discs are shot, and I will replace them with new uh, eight disc, brake, eight brake discs and uh, eight brake pads, fresh, and it, uh, the car should then brake as it is intended. So this is basically even uh, quite dangerous to use. Well, today was uh, another good day because my mechanic had time to replace uh, my brakes, uh, brakes on the Audi A2. And as you will be able to see, it is a complete difference uh, with regards to previous uh, old brakes. As you can see, completely new brakes, they are already broken in. And here you can see the brake pads, new again uh, here. And if I just show you for comparison, here you can see the old brake pads, which are quite deteriorated because of the rust. And here the new. So also the uh, so uh, replaced were brake disc, brake pads, and also the rear brake shoes. But I have not removed this because uh, I will just put a um, photo up. And here we can take a look at the old parts. Here you can see the old discs completely rusted away so not usable anymore and brake pads were also bad as you can see but interestingly here all brake pads are deteriorated so not used but interestingly brake shoes were not in such bad condition but I decided to replace them anyway because I would like to keep uh, do the work now and just leave everything for the future uh, for future so that it will work that I will need to wor will not need to worry about okay so this was uh, this is uh, the this was the replacement of the discs and now let's go for a test drive so that I uh, let's test if it really works everything is okay and this is now the rear test, uh, if the brakes are okay. So as you can see, there is no uh, uh, hesitation, no uh, anything vibration on the steering wheel. And now I will try to brake and let's see how it will go. And I'm braking and without any vibration on the steering wheel and the car nicely, easily uh, braked. Also the feeling on the brake pedal was perfect. 
no vibration so now once again and yeah perfect without any vibration on the steering wheel so the replacement of the brakes was was successful and so as you could see uh, the steering wheel is completely without any vibrations the brakes uh, work great so i'm quite happy thank you for watching uh, drive safe and of course smile when you drive because driving is fun bye okay and th this is what i uh, bought for uh, the brakes uh, i bought all uh, three parts from eight uh, brake uh, discs brake pads and brake shoes so let's uh, check first so this is the part number of the of the brake pads as you can see i'll put all these part numbers uh, below in the uh, video description so that you will be able to have them all in one place so let me just open this and let's see what is inside why i bought eight uh, just because i have a very good experience with them and i they are great brakes so this is why i buy but you can buy every, anything that you want so these are the brake pads yeah as you can see very thick so perfect and this is the one that has the how much they are used so this these are the brake pads let me just close this here now we have here brake shoes so the part number is this one here you can see again i will put put it inside in the video description so let's see the brake shoes yeah okay so as far as far as i have seen basically the rear brake shoes on my audi are not used but i will replace them because it started to peel off also the brake pads uh, i will show you uh, I, will, I will put a, a photo of that uh, they started to peel here off so i will just replace everything and uh, that's it so these are the brake shoes and now let's check also the brake uh, calipers also eight i didn't go for any performance stuff just normal brake uh, because brake discs because i think that should be enough and also the car will not be used on the racetrack on, or anything just like this so let's so here is the part number of the brake discs this is according to my car which has one for petrol and these are the brake discs so here are these and they are ventilated they are quite heavy yeah. okay so what else do we have here okay this one this one okay perfect Let me just put them back on that's it and this is what i will use to replace the brakes and it should be fine